morning this is george adventure here uh off today i'll go back tomorrow i guess they consider today a holiday because new year's was yesterday so i'm off uh we'll go back tomorrow but uh so i i uh i've been doing research i guess you would say i guess could call it research but i've been kind of uh trying to find all the shields that casemates for their knives uh try to find some history uh what what they're called <clears throat> and when i find one actually i found i found a lot of them looking on ebay a lot of knife people that sell their knives they'll have a description of the shield which some of them already knew but so this is my little sketchbook that I, that I sketch. You know, I sketch my leather designs, stuff like that. Uh, you know, just just to have and just to kind of keep up with what I'm making. Uh, you know, like this. But so I uh, I started sketching the uh, case shields. Uh, so I've got I've got basically two three full pages so far uh, and uh, in the shields I'm sure everybody has their favorites and most people watch my channel they know this is my favorite the shotgun shield uh, and you know uh, there's a lot of different shield case makes just like on this mid folding hunter this is the bar shield it just has case xx on it but so th this is what i've been drawing here i've been sketching these out uh kind of the, just something that, where i can keep up with them and kind of familiarize myself but i'm always looking to make sure that i have that i have uh, uh the right the right ones on here uh, uh, and this this is the fourth page and if if you know if you see something that needs correcting I welcome you leaving a comment and this is the last one I put on here and this is the clover and I got a question mark I think it's another name for that one uh, but so <clears throat> I uh I've always been interested in the shields. I just think that's one of the fascinating part of collecting knives is is the uh is the shield. And you can see this one up top just an oval oval shield right here. And you know there's many oval shields that has different things on, you know, different the case different or, or whatever just like this carbon xx you know i've got a trapper carbon xx and it's got that it's got that shield on it and that's an oval shield uh some of the older case knives the 80s will be a little different than they are now uh the bow tie shield which is one of my favorite ones this is the this is the uh arrowhead shield which is one of my favorites uh and this this one says bow tie shield but i've seen it called other things and i can't remember so i've been trying to find this one i'm gonna look some more uh i don't really know if that's the bow tie shield and then i got another bow tie shield so there's like like three bow tie shields maybe they make different bow tie shields i don't know but if i see something different i'm gonna erase what i got it named now but uh dog bone shield this is on that that new green kinfolk jig knife i thought that was a pretty cool shield and the bomb shield which is one of my favorites love the bomb shield another bow tie shield and it goes on and on tony bows his arrowhead shield doesn't have anything in it and i saw a, a tony bows case a uh, large a large uh stockman and it's got the bow tie shield in stainless 
and I did, I'm sorry, not the bow tie, but the arrow shield, I'm sorry. But it's got, it says it was stained, it's stainless steel, so. Uh, the diamond shield. Uh, scout shield. The bullet shield, cross shield. Uh, this is called the march shield. You don't see very many of these. Uh, the chevron shield. Uh, the hex gun shield, and I've got I've got a sod buster that has that on it. So as I as I see these and, and they're different, you know, I always when I when I see a knife or you know whether it's on Smoky Mountain Knife Works or on eBay or anytime I look look at a description uh, on a knife on a case knife, I wanna I wanna know what kind of and and case it only ones that. Do, that does the the shields, uh, but you know, uh, I'm interested in in you know in the case knife shields. But uh, so anytime I see a, a case knife, I'm interested in. I see a shield. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, something that I I get back this get this book back out make sure I got the right name or if it's one that's not on here then I write it down so uh, you know there you go but uh so this is the third page and this is the this is the bar shield and I just you know I just showed you this the bar shield you can see it some of the bar shields are a little longer than other ones I think it's pretty cool the Saturn shield you see it on that G10, that red G10. And you got a bad shield, which is on the the case, some of the early case knives, and you still see it made. I think it's the, uh, there's a green bone, can't remember which one, but they've got this. And the old Case Brothers. Propeller shield, and I've got a, I've got a sod buster that's got the propeller shield on. And I've seen other knife companies use them. They may tweak them a little bit shotgun shield right here and you know there you go uh, double X just double X on the on the bone and nickel silver now this this is a, a, a one that's hard to find and I just found one the other day a mint large stockman with the rounded edges this is that barn shield and i think my understanding is they made knives for a tractor supply but you can't you can't hardly find these and then this this clover shield and I, I got the got a question mark but it's the clover green knives they got out a real pretty green handle which i don't have any i may before it's over with but so um you know i like i like you know i like the shields you know, the shields were really something that interests me, and it's it's part of of collecting a case knife because that's that's one of the first things I look at is is the uh, is the is the shield. You know, I, I you know I look at the bone, but you know I I got certain shields I guess that I like the best, uh, and you know the shotgun shield is my favorite. Now, I hadn't got any of the bullet shields yet. Uh, oh, and there's a cross shield, too. And I saw one the other day that was the, uh, just the plain bone, not dyed, natural bone. Uh, pretty cool looking shield. Uh, I have never, ever had a shield fall off of a case knife. Now, I've had them fall off of a couple charade knives. I've got a New York made uh, New York knife charade that the, and it's got a uh, had a uh, I've got two of them had a green one and a red one. The green one had the uh, uh, shield, just like the bad shield. It it fell off. I don't know where it is. I've had it for years. I've got a I've got an old timer that's missing the shield, and I I bought a I bought a uh, Rough Rider uh, uh, Copperhead couple months ago it's a beautiful knife i paid ten dollars for it and the shipping was six bucks on uh 
eBay. I pulled it out of the box and it's got an acorn shield on it. Acorn, I'm sorry. I'm a southern boy, so we call them acorns. So when I pulled it out of the box, a little shield just dropped right off. So, so I took some of this and glued it back on. And it, it's not going to come off with that glue. So, uh, just one of the one of the things, you know. I don't know if any of you ever had a had a uh, shield fall off. I don't know what kind of glue. I guess it's a type of epoxy that Case uses. Uh, but you don't want your shields to start falling off. And I've actually never had a Case knife where the shield fell off. Never have. So. Uh, I don't, hadn't had this knife long, you know, about a year, I guess. Uh, carry it, I carry it, I alternate it with my Benchmade and my Civivi. Great knife, just a kickstart. This is the one, this is the one I sent back to Case. Uh, never had to send a knife back to Case, but this is the one I sent back to Case because uh, it, it would not open. I mean, literally I would, put an indention in my thumb but now now you can see it opens it opens good so uh, I carry it I like to carry it it's a good size knife you know you can see it compared to if you want to compare it to this one you know the sow belly uh, but uh, yeah the shields the shields are something that really that I really enjoy about collecting a slip joint pocket knife you know like a case knife uh, it's just something that that uh excuse me i already had my coffee early this morning i got up early so yeah milo's so you know that's that's you know that's something that i i you know i like to sketch out keep up with and i've actually started on my fourth page here so i've got I've got another blank page here in the back. I do sketch. I sketch a lot of knives, a lot of holsters I make, a lot of sheaths I make. I guess I do okay as far as sketching, you know. Something I enjoy doing. If you like knives, you know, it's kind of fun to draw them, you know. Uh, that's a sodbuster, by the way. And that's that's the diamond shield. Uh, I'm, I'm, designing a, I'm designing a knife. Here's... Here's this sheath. I drew a picture of it. Got the measurements on it. Uh, put on there what knives that'll go in it, that'll fit in it, minus the copperhead. Uh, I just enjoy sketching, you know. Back here in the back, I, I've got a knife maker that's going to make me a knife. And I've been trying to sketch the knife I want, a fixed blade, a EC fixed blade. There's one of them. I gotta make my mind up. This is called the Adventure. That's what I'm gonna name it for George Adventure. Uh, got that one drawn out. You know, I've changed them and erased them, and you know, so I gotta make my mind up. These are all fixed blades, but so this is my little sketchbook. Uh, you know, and I, anytime I come up with a, a sheath, I got to sew this one. Anytime I come up with a sheath, you know, or something new, I, I draw it and sketch it in here. And that way, you know, I've got it and I can look back on it, you know. Uh, got a belt sheath. But anyway, getting back to the shields. Uh, and you also got you also got some knives. You also got some knives that don't have shields. And and my wife said, Do you do you want a knife that don't have a shield? And I said, Well it depends on you know what it is. Like this this sod buster here. I've had it a couple of weeks. Uh it's uh it's at uh Smoky Valley Sunset uh sod buster. And I told her, Well that knife's so pretty. It don't even need a shield, you know. So I'm good with it not having a shield, you know. Uh, it's a beautiful knife, man. That orange is just freaking gorgeous. And it's kind of orangey like this one. Got a different jigging on it. Uh, but 
so yeah, I, I, I'll buy a case knife without a shield. Uh, sure will. You can see, no shield. But, so anyway, I don't know how many of you, you know, kind of really look at the shields hard. I do. I, that's what I, one of the things I enjoy about collecting them. Collecting a case is a shield. So I'm trying to trying to record them, trying to do research, putting them in this book, you know, and I want to make sure I have them labeled the right way, you know, if, 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 if the shield's actually what I've got written down, what it's called. So I'm always looking. When I find them somewhere online or on eBay, I'll go down to the description. And some people don't put, they may just put nickel shield. They don't always put the description in there. Some people do. So with that, uh, this is the first week of the new year. Hope everybody has a prosperous week. Hope everybody, uh, hope everybody uh, has a great year. Just remember, though, God's in. God's still in charge. He's still on the throne. God bless you, and have a great week. Have a great year. George Adventure here. And if you like, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the hit the like button, the bell, and please leave a comment. What you think about the shield? What's your favorite shield? You know, anything like that. Or is the shield even important to you? God bless.